Hello and welcome to the 15th tutorial in the jQuery basic series and we're going to be looking at add elements. We'll be using the source code from part 2 of the series. If you don't have it or if you haven't done it, don't worry, don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project. Just going to go ahead and open up our files in a text editor. You want to open up the HTML file and the JavaScript file aka the main.js drag and drop that. Go to your HTML file and what we're going to be looking at today as we said was the add elements which allow you to add element or content to uh, another element. And what we're going to do is add a button which we click and that will add some content to a div that we'll put in a moment. Just going to put button, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. got a notification on like literally so many devices all the order stop going off within a matter of seconds. It's gonna put hello inside here. It's gonna go to our JavaScript form, gonna do dollar. I'm gonna select the button and when it's clicked, I'm gonna do this function. Inside of here we're gonna do dollar, I'm gonna select the div tag and the first add-in element method we're going to look at is dot append which basically inserts content at the end of the selected element so what we'll do is put um, world and now we'll run this in a web browser we click button it says hello world if you right click inspect element the hello world or the world is actually at the end of hello there, it's still within that element. If we now go back to this and just comment this out, we can copy and paste this. We're going to change this to prepend, which basically inserts content at the beginning of the selected element. So if we go back, refresh, click button, now it puts it at the start of the div tag going to go back again, comment this out and we're going to change this to after and this is <coughs> sorry this inserts content after the selected element so if we just go back refresh click button it's on a new line and the reason it's on a new line is because it inserted this content after the actual element that we put uh, which was the div tag and what we can also put is we can also put HTML code in here as well so if we just refresh add button it's within a div tag and you can do that for deep append and prepend as well so what we'll do is comment this out we'll show you the final one which is I think you've guessed it it's before which just inserts this before the entire selected element. So we refresh, click button. Now it's inserted the div tag before the other div tag. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover removing elements and all the required source code will be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day